Subline Text versus BB Edit. Which text editor is best for macOS users? If you're a macOS user looking for a fast, flexible text editor, you've probably come across Subline Text and BB Edit. Both are known for speed, simplicity, and power, but they take very different approaches. In this tutorial, we'll compare Subline Text and BB Edit to help you pick the best one for coding, writing, or editing text-heavy projects. Now let's get started. What is Subline Text? Subline Text is a cross-platform high-performance text editor known for being fast, minimal, and feature-rich. Some of its top features are multi-carat editing and split view, distraction-free writing zone, command palette and fuzzy file search, rich plugin ecosystem via package control, works on macOS, Windows, and Linux, and popular among developers and power users. I would say that it is best for developers, writers, and coders who want a modern, high-speed editor that works across platforms. Now, what is BB Edit? BB Edit is a macOS exclusive text editor developed by Beerbones Software with a long history among writers, developers, and system admins. Some of its top features are macOS native UI with Apple script support, built-in FTP or SFTP editing, syntax highlighting for 20 plus languages, shell worksheet for terminal tasks, and text transformations or grip pattern matching, and tight integration with macOS tools. I would say that it is best for Mac-only users, especially writers, web developers, and system admins who want deep macOS integration and scripting capabilities. Now, if we were to talk about developer experience, when it comes onto Sublime Text, it is faster and more modern with a sleek UI and vibrant plugin ecosystem. Perfect for Python, JS, HTML, Markdown, and more. While BB Edit, on the other hand, leans into macOS features offering Apple Script, Automator, Terminal Integration, HTML Editors, and Automation Fans. And if we were to compare their pricing, when it comes on to Sublime Text, while they offer a free trial which is unlimited, their full license would cost $99 for, and that's a one-time licensing fee. With BB Edit, if I were to check out their pricing also, they also offer a free tier and their pricing plan starts off at $39 and it can go up to $59 as you can see right here. So both editors are generous with free versions, but advanced features like syntax, folding, pro level grep tools or full plugin support may require purchases. Now if we were to talk about the pros and cons of both platforms, starting with Subline Text, it is extremely fast and responsive. Minimal distraction free UI, highly extensible with plugins, cross platforms, and actively maintained. The only pullback I would say is no built in FTP or shell tools, and fewer macOS native features, and NUG screen in free version. And if we were to talk about the pros and cons of BB Edit, first starting with the pros, deep macOS integration. Built in terminal tools, Apple script support, great for text manipulation and HTML editing, fast and stable with minimal distractions. The only pullback is macOS only and fewer modern plugins or themes. An outdated look and feel for some users. Now, with this in mind, which one should you choose? I would recommend you choose Subline Text if you want a blazing fast modern editor, or you code across platforms, Mac, Linux, or Windows, and you need a customizable environment with powerful plugins. On the contrary, I would recommend you choose BB Edit if you're a dedicated macOS user, and you need built-in FTP or SFTP editing, shell access or Apple script support, 
and you want a powerful tool for editing text, HTML or scripts with native macOS features. So Sublime Text is the better choice for modern development, multi-platform workflows and high performance editing with an active plugin ecosystem, while BB Edit is ideal for Mac Power users who want robust text editing, scripting and system level integration, all inside a rock solid macOS native app. Both tools are fantastic. It depends on how you work and what features you want most. Hope you found this comparison helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And thank you for watching.